This video shows how to replace a faulted SFP network interface module in your system. The following error messages can appear in the Power Store Manager to indicate you should replace an SFP in your appliance. SFP speed mismatch, which indicates that the SFP speeds are not supported by the port. SFP unsupported, indicates that the SFP is not qualified with this product. And SFP asymmetric, that indicates that the SFP module does not have the same supported speeds and connector type as its partner. First, we need to determine which SFP has faulted. To do this, log on to the PowerStorm Manager and click Hardware. Under Appliances, click the appliance that contains the faulted component. On the Details page for the appliance, click the Hardware card, and then click the Rearview tab. After you identify the SFP module that needs to be replaced, you can remove the faulted component. First, disconnect any cables that are connected to the component. Then, gently pull down on the release spring latch and carefully pull out the SFP module while continuing to hold onto the latch. Be careful not to remove the I.O. module, because removing an I.O. module causes the node to reboot immediately. Before you install the new SFP module in the PowerStore appliance, verify that the replacement SFP module has the same part number as the faulted one. The part number is on the label attached to the SFP module. To install the new SFP module, push the spring release latch up and carefully slide the new SFP in the port until it is securely connected, and then reconnect the cable to the replacement SFP module. After you replace the SFP module, Use the PowerStore Manager to verify that the new part is working properly. From PowerStore Manager, select Hardware. Select the PowerStore Appliance where you installed your new part. Then, from the Hardware card, select the view of the appliance to show where the part was installed. PowerStore Manager should show the new part as healthy. If the status still shows faulted, wait a few minutes and refresh PowerStore Manager. If the status does not change, ensure that the component is correctly seated or call your service provider. You've just replaced a faulted SFP. For detailed instructions on replacing this or other components, refer to the PowerStore documentation at dell.com forward slash PowerStore docs.